guys, I haven't seen you in forever. I bet you're wondering whether it's not the Batman Asylum reviews are. Well, that's next on my list, but with Christmas right around the corner, I thought I'd review an often overlooked Christmas special for one of my favorite nostalgic shows, Smallville. Now, before I get into this review, I know a lot of you out there probably have a love-hate relationship like me or just plain dislike this show. I'd be lying if I say I didn't see where people are coming from when they say they just straight up dislike this show. It definitely has its flaws, which we'll get into in a future video, but for right now, let's just stick to this special. Have you ever wondered what the Christmas Carol would be like if it was even more pessimistic and start a supervillain? No? Well, me either, but we got this with this episode entitled Lexmas. It opens in a seedy part of town as Lex meets a hired mudslinger named Griff. No, no, not that one. There, that's better. Griff is in the midst of offering Lex a deal to spread rumors about Jonathan to discredit him so Lex has a better chance of winning the senator position. Lex is hesitant to do this, though. Griff questions him, which leads to Lex threatening to kill him if his father finds out, which kind of comes out of nowhere. But hey, contrived dialogue and situations are kind of par for the course with this show. So after that, Lex heads to his car. He gets randomly mugged by a Power Ranger. Hey man, that giant Megazord's gas bill isn't cheap. After complying with the muggers, Lex is shot down for no reason by the female mugger. Again, stuff comes out of nowhere. He then falls to the ground in what has to be one of the slowest, over-the-top falls I've ever seen. It almost looks like he's doing a dance as he falls. In fact, let's put a song behind it. What follows after this is a scene with Lex in bed, unsure of what's going on. He is then shocked to see a kid calling him dad, named Alex, and a pregnant Lana as well. Hey, you think you have it bad, hangover Lex? You should talk to these guys. We then cut to a scene of Lex in the bathroom trying to make sense of the situation when suddenly his deceased mother appears in there with him. He insists none of it's real, and she tells him it can be if he chooses to make the right choices. We then cut from It's a Wonderful Life, uh, uh I mean, I mean Lex's dream, to him bleeding on the pavement. Wow, uh, are, are, are we sure this is a Christmas special? I mean, this is kind of dark, uh, uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> 